Uh, hello guys, recently I've been studying the few concepts of the wafer thickness measurement, so uh, including TDV, Boeing, and warp. Uh, first, I'll start with the thickness of wafer. It's easy to understand and can be uh, defined as the distance between the points on the front and the back side of the surface of the wafer surfaces. It will be an uh, average numbers. The second uh, concept is called TTV, total thickness variation so basically you can under this uh, you can use this uh, uh, parameter to evaluate the thickness variation throughout the whole wafers so the uh, the definition can be the difference between the maximum value of the thickness and the minimum values of the thickness during a, a scan pattern on a series of data collection or point measurement so in reality in every um, in each measurement, we need to have a calibration first of the system. So let's say this is a wafer, and we have a probe A and a probe B. So in order to calibrate this, we need to use this system to measure a wafer of known thickness. Then by using this, this system, we measure the distance from the probe A to the wafer, measure the distance from the probe D to the wafer, and with the uh, with the thickness of the known wafers, which can be uh, written as T wafers, we can get the uh, total thickness from probe A to probe B as T W plus A plus B. Then, if we insert a wafer of unknown thickness, then we can measure that thickness as T total minus A and minus B. Then the TTB total thickness variation will be simply uh, written as the T measures throughout the full uh, scan of data points uh, measurement whenever whichever is the maximum minus the minimum values so let's say the maximum thickness is 1.5 the minimum thickness is 0.7 then the TTV will be 0.8 next important uh, concept is called a bone um, it can be defined as the deviation of the center point center point of the median surface to the reference surfaces so so let's say this is a wafer it's a front plane this is a back plane and this will be the median plane okay so by definition it will be simply by the distance from the center point of the wafer inside the median plane to the reference plane okay the median surfaces can be can be easily understand it's a collection of the point in the wafer that has equal distance between the front and the back plane and the reference surface can be constructed by the three point uh, three point equally spaced on a circle within the wafer just like this so but in this we can for example in this wafer we can simply get the bow as the distance from here to here which let's say it will be 1.5 micrometers something like that right uh, the last concept is called warp um, this is an, another uh, definition that describes the uh, 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 distortion or uh, shape variation of the wafers so the definition for this is the difference between the maximum distance and the minimum distance throughout the whole wafers. And the maximum distance can be defined as between uh, as the number between the median surface and the reference surfaces. A minimum dis distance is also can be defined between the min median surfaces and the reference surfaces. So what I mean, so let's say we have a wafer like this. Uh, so then let's construct the reference surfaces as this this is the median surfaces so the warp can will be between the maximum distance between the median surfaces and the references which will be from here to here let's say this is 1.5 and the minimum distance between the median surface and references which will be from here to here so this number will be negative one let's say negative 1.5 so we can get the warp as three micrometers 
So notice that this 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 concept is different from the bow, right? Um, the reason I think uh, uh sometimes most of the time the warp is a better, uh, parameter describing the uh the distortion of the wafer is that uh, by looking at the is because it looks at the entire wafers, um okay it it will provide a more useful measurement of the true wafer shapes. So for example, in the first case, if you want to measure the bow of this wafer, it will be the center point of the median surfaces to the reference surfaces. So basically, we can think of this bow as zero, which means there's no variation of the shapes. But in reality, we do have, right? So. So that's why um sometimes warp is a better parameters. All right, that will conclude this uh short video.